I'm going to talk about ellipses right now. And see, over here I have several objects, a cup, you know, a goblet, a small goblet, a, a copper pot, and so forth. And they all have ellipses. And this is something that art students have a difficult time with. So I thought what I'd do is just break this down and simplify it. So we'll take this goblet and we'll look at it. So first of all, let's find the center line. You could draw this freehand or, or just draw it right here. Just put a center line down. You, you know, students don't draw enough. And so uh, I think it, it, it's important to just draw any object you have around the studio or, or around the house. Let's put a line here. You know, um, Albert Dior did a lot of this, and you can see it in his drawings. So let's take a look at this. So at the top of the ellipse is here. See, I'll take these dividers or calipers, and then we'll say, okay, that's the same distance has to be here. Now, how wide do we want it? Okay, maybe we'll say it's got to be that wide. So, what's ever on the left side of that line have to be equal on the right side. So, here, so these are our points. And then we, see, so we curve it there. Curve it around. And it's really as simple as that. Now let's say, let's say you want to draw this idea of this goblet, see? So once again, what's ever on the left side has to be on the right side. A lot of times I'll draw it freehand and then I'll bet, go back and check myself. So we have that. Now the base is, is short compared to the to the top of this, so it's much shorter. So let's measure. Well, it's a little over half the height of that, so it's about here. So let's do the same thing now. I could take a horizontal line here. And I, I noticed that the base, see the base is the same width as the top of that goblet. So let's go straight down and find, find the edge of that. And then we're gonna say, okay, it's about, so if, if we're this far down from the horizontal here, we'll go up to there and then we'll put a, you know, draw this ellipse. Draw right through that. Just think right through, okay? Because then there's a smaller one here. And you know, when you draw with your eye, you train your eye by doing this until, the, until it really you get to the point where you don't need to do the diagram. Albert Dorr, like I said, he, he did some detailed diagrams on ellipses, and, and it's interesting to look at what he did. So, so this is looking down inside the goblet, which is which is my view from here. So, same with the teacup, you know. See what what it is is, see that this is higher. The middle is higher than the two ends. So that's very important to keep a lookout for. And so, so you can draw anything now. Draw the copper pot, you know, put the straight line down, do this, draw it freehand. See, I can measure there, measure there.
then very quickly we can we can draw that plot. See what's ever over wide it is over here. Measure it. Same width over there. So you see that that's just a simple lesson on ellipses.